Hey guys, Toolking back again with my latest Insector deck profile. This is Post Galactic Overlord. Kind of wanted to do this on webcam, not on uh, Dueling Network or some kind of other camera. But let me show you what I've been running, what I'm, well, what I plan on running after the Galactic Overlord set is released. Have pretty much everything for the deck except um, card cardies. I really need card cardies, but. I'll tell you what you could switch in and out, you know, when you don't have card cardies, because they are pretty expensive cards. So, start off, you got Triple Hornet, obviously, um, the, the main staple of the card, I guess. Triple Dragonfly, still a beautiful card. Uh, triple Centipede, and um, one Gigamantis. Obviously, this is like the core build. For any Insector deck, three of the each, and then one Mantis. And uh, this is where it's a little different. Post Galactic Overlord. You got. Um, well, I run three Ladybugs. This card really gives you that first turn presence, like um, with Hopper and Hornet. You know, you really don't have lots to go off of if you have a Dragonfly and a Hornet first turn. Because let's say you start off first turn, you really don't want to summon Dragonfly and then, uh, you know, go off Hornet's effect. Especially if you're going first. You can, it'd be kind of weird. But at the same time, you can you can activate its effect. So next time you go around, um, you will already have that play off. But your opponent will know that you have, a, obviously, a Hornet in spell Trap Zone. But with Ladybug, send this, special summon... Special summon, you, you can add two cards, uh, one card with Centipede, and you'll have a, uh, the Centipede and Dragonfly. And then you can like have a Deep Prison or something to go off of, and their levels will be rank 5. Or you can go into Adrius tier, stuff like that, first turn, and then, you know, have them to work with something. And, you know, Little Monster can go a long ways, especially now. I run three, and... Um, this is how I'm keeping it for now. So, Ladybug is amazing so far in my testing. Um, feel free to try out two if you want, but uh, Ladybug at three is pretty good. One Hopper, just because uh, you can tag directly and he can get over some bigger stuff. And with the swords and stuff like that. But he could, with him, when he activates effect, he, only one monster can uh, attack directly. So, it's kind of a downgrade when um when you're using him it's uh three ho uh three hoppers with three uh swords and stuff so yeah that is not good at all and for the big monsters um one gores and one dad obviously uh gores gets you out of a lot of matchups like hierotics and um a lot of matchups also like wind ups and even in sectors and it could pop that monster put it up Dad does the same thing, destroy theirs when you have three in the grave, which is really easy to do. All you need to do is draw Dad. Um, Sangan. Um, Sangan's pretty good, searches out any uh, injector you need. And you really don't need this if you have three card cardies in your deck. Just take this out, but if you don't, obviously Sangan still works pretty well. Um, I run Triple Valor. If you have card cardies, I would take out one. Just because you like draw into these cards anyways with card cards like half the time. So two Valors or three, however you prefer. But I run three because most of the people I play with at my locals are running Hieratics and stuff like windups now. Um, so they try to spam a lot now. So Valors works really good. Um, three Pot of Duality. Now you search into your Insectors more. I was running two, but you kind of need to get into that engine more and draw one even though you can't special summon you know you set up your plays more and then go off so they kind of thinking you know oh this guy he might not have a good hand then you go off dragonfly and all this crap next turn and otk so it really helps out two zek talibers i was running one and two united we stands but with the new additions i took them out because you can search for these more easily and activate their effects and it helps out quite a bit um so these at two, you can run three or one if you want. It's all about player preference. If I had card card D, I think I would take one out. So yeah, um, I run two MSTs. You can run three if you want. Uh, just two because I don't play a lot of back row heavy decks. 
added this mind control because I see insectors windups and uh, a lot of decks like that now and hierotics are coming strong so if you take their biggest uh, monster like a tomb you take their their red MD you take their um, levy or their fucking hornet or not hornet dragonfly or you take their wind up rat it really you can exceed with those you could fucking end up in their loop you know different shit you could do that like really ends i wasn't running this card but with the change in the meta i really love this card now so yeah heavy um staples allure torco and monster reborn obviously um i run the uh, solemn brigade I'm not sure whether to keep it or not because with uh, this draw engine sometimes you find yourself um, trying to go into the OTK too much or trying too hard to stop their monsters um, so you gotta really plan out but if you lose a lot of life points like with the Solemns you're down like 4000 at least so always got a plan on that and uh, bottomless or um, you know Stuff like Compulse may be good options to switch in and out. I'm running two chains. Um, two Torrentials. This really helps out because you are you cut down the monsters like two or three. Um, then the typical Insector deck with the Ladybugs and all those with the Card Cardies and stuff. So um, your monsters are down more. So when you start off you have like one Insector or two to start off with. And it really kills wind-up loops, hieratic loops, hi all that kind of um, nonsense that just spams a lot of monsters. And, you know, it helps out a lot. And that's why I use Mirror Force instead of Deep Prison or stuff like that, Compose. Because I hate loop decks and finally Call of the Haunted. Bring back your Insectors, your favorite one. And that's 41 cards. So let me get into the extra deck. Um... I think I have like 20 in here, but you can cut it down. I'm just going to show you what you can run. For my two rank fives, I use uh, Zen Mayo and Tir uh, Adrius. I don't really like Tiris, but you can use it if you want. Um, Ally of Justice Catas or <laughs> I got the wrong one. Ally of Justice Catasaur. Um, he can sometimes go Valor into Hopper. Or if you mind control, you know, um, Levier. I leave that uh, option because if you do mind control, you can take practically any level and then summon your Valor if you need to. If it's like a dead draw or, you know, they're using like Dark Worlds or something. So, that's a really good combo to go off of. Um, Gaia Dragon, the Thunder Charger. After you're done with your Zen Mayo, your Tyrus, your Aegis plays, you can use this and, uh, you know, it inflicts piercing damage. So... Not a bad effect overall, I guess, but Ten Tempo, he's good against Zen Mains. Log, he he kills Logia so bad. Um, for my other Synchros, just Black Rose and Brio. These are game changers sometimes if you can get them out, but you really don't get them out as much anymore. But if you do mind control and stuff like that, then he can help out quite a bit. This is a Force Focus. This is meant to be a Photon Strike Bouncer. But run uh, Strike Bouncer, he's really amazing. Um, let's see. Then my own Giga Brilliant. These are really the two I get out the most amazing cards. Um, Acid Golem. He's amazing. That's the end of OTK or like Zen Mains ain't gonna do shit kind of plays. <laughs> Chimera Tech when you sight in your Cyber Dragons and stuff. Um, Leviathan. And Exabeetle. So, that's it, guys. Um, the side deck, it really depends who you're playing against. It doesn't matter. I mean, on my locals, people usually use the same deck, so that's why my deck is built like that. But, um, I like to use those kind of, uh, cards. Um, I might, like, usually if I do side in, like, I don't run Book of Moon, Compose, stuff like that. Because I feel like I, I should have more field presence, and when you use those, it's like, just goes to the grave. And, um, I don't know. I might, I, I'm trying to run the safe zone, see how that works out for me, and stuff like that, more, um, you know, I'm, I, how I have been citing Spirit Reapers, United Stands, even Plague Spreaders on me sometimes, so, thanks guys for watching, tell me what you guys think of the Insector deck profile, hope I didn't go too long with this, 
But thanks.